Hey coders and welcome to episode 6 of our slide service playlist on the Google Apps Script course. In this video we're going to be talking about a specific page element on a presentation called a sheets chart. So the top 7 methods for today are as sheets chart, get sheets charts, insert sheets chart, insert sheets chart as image, get spreadsheet ID, get chart ID, and refresh. So let's jump in the code and see these methods in action. So what exactly is a Sheets chart? Well, as the name implies, it's a chart that has been taken from Google Sheets. So if we look into our presentation, we can see that we have all these page elements, but how do we know that uh, this one is a Sheets chart, say? Well, we can tell because it has this button right here that says linked. So this is a linked chart options, and if we go to the open source, we can see that it's linked to this Sheets right here. So that's how we can tell that this is indeed a Sheets chart and not just, say, an image. Because if we looked at our image, there is no linking at all. This is just strictly an image, and this is linked to Sheets. It's a chart from Google Sheets. Alrighty, so that's what a Sheets chart is. So again, let's showcase some of these methods. If we have a page element, again, we've seen this before. A page element is not going to be enough if we want to uh, get some of the methods from a sheets chart because again, if you say page element dot get spreadsheet ID, there's no such thing as a spreadsheet ID when you're looking at say a page element such as a line. That makes completely no sense. So you have to specify to App Script that yes, if you are getting this page element, you have to type convert it to or typecast it into a uh, sheet element. So when you say page element, the first method that you can use is uh, as sheets chart and that will return a sheets chart. So we've seen this before in previous episodes and we are going to be continuing to see it in succeeding episodes. So let's just say const sheets a chart just for future reference. Alrighty, so again, this is a two-step process. So you could first get your page elements, and then you could say, all right, the page element that I want, I'm going to convert that into a sheets chart, and that's how you could get your sheets chart. Or you could just say slide.get sheets charts. And then this would return an array of all the sheets charts on that slide. So let's log or log that just to confirm that we indeed only have one sheets chart on the on this slide right here. Again, this is not a sheets chart. This is something called a table. It's specific to uh, slides. So that might be a little confusing, but again, this is not a sheets chart. This is a table. All right, but this is. So if we go into our logs, we can see we have one sheets chart in the array, and we can be pretty sure that it is talking about this one, especially with this very nice link icon right there. Alrighty, so that is getting sheets charts. Now, how do you insert a sheets chart onto your slide? Well, you're going to need a spreadsheet. You're going to need your spreadsheet and the charts from that spreadsheet. So that is what I have up here. I've stored a spreadsheet. Let's just use this one. Let's insert this uh, sheets chart. Even though it's already on there, let's do it again. Let's insert this sheets chart to this presentation. Alright, so the first you need a slide and then from that slide you can say insert sheets chart and you have three options right here you have an embedded chart so this is a this is the short this is the source chart and basically what's that what that is talking about is that where do you want to source your chart from so we want to source it from this google sheets um spreadsheet and this is the chart that we want to use so as you can see, we are getting that spreadsheet and then we are getting the sheet name uh, bar in this scenario, as you can see right here. And then we are getting the chart. Again, we're, this, this is the first chart on that sheet. It's the only chart you can take my word for it. And we are getting uh, that chart. Alrighty, so if we now say insert sheets chart, we can put that chart right in here. There's also another option right here and then that is insert sheets chart. And if we have a sheets chart that is already made on a slide, a pre-existing sheets chart, then we could just say take that from a separate slide and then insert that into our uh, destination slide where we want it. 
But let's not do that right now. Let's take it from a source chart from a sheets document. So again, we have that right here. Let's say chart. If we hit the semicolon and then we comment out this logger log, we'll hit save and we'll hit run. And we're not gonna position it at all. We've seen that before in the shapes uh, episode. So it should return, and this is a huge sheets chart, but it does return, and it is in the top left-hand corner, and takes off almost all of the slide. But uh, this is a sheets chart, and you can tell because, again, it has this link to this presentation. So that is pretty cool. Let's just delete it for now, though, because it is taking up all of the slide, and we want to see all of these other page elements. All right, so that is how to insert a sheets chart. But let's say you want to insert this Sheets chart. Let's say you have this very cool chart that you made on Google Sheets, but on other tabs or maybe somewhere else in, in different cells, you have some sensitive data and you don't, want to op you don't want to open source it. You don't want the user to have the ability to say, click up here and then go right into your spreadsheet. But you still like your chart and you want to share your chart. Well, how you could do that is you could say slide.insert sheets chart as image and this is going to convert your sheets chart or you're going to convert your chart into an image so again it's not going to be a sheets chart anymore it's going to be now looked at as an image so let's showcase that we will again embed this chart that we have right here so again you still need it you still need your spreadsheet and you need to tell uh, app script which chart you're talking about but if you hit save and you hit run Again, you're gonna get a very, very big image on your presentation. But hey, look, now this is not linked at all. So you cannot go into this spreadsheet. All you're gonna be able to see is this data right here in this uh, image. So that is pretty cool. And again, this image differs from this sheets chart because this sheets chart is linked and you can tell that this is not a sheets chart because it is not linked to any sheets. Alrighty, let's get rid of that because it's very large and it's taking up half the screen. Alright, so that is insert sheets chart as image. Now let's look at some of the specific methods of a sheets chart. So we have one right here. Let's just type that out. We'll say sheets chart. And the first method that I want to showcase is get spreadsheet ID. So if you see a presentation and there's a sheets chart on it, and you want to get some of the data from this uh, spreadsheet, all you need to do is get the spreadsheet ID, and then that you can later put in, say, a method open by ID, and then you can get that spreadsheet, and then you can start messing around more with all the data if you have edit access, of course. But let's log or log that just to see that it is indeed identical to uh, this right here. So you can, you can see that this begins with 1WB, um, we'll try to memorize some of these. So 1WB and it ends in SPU. So if we view our logs, and we're waiting for those logs, but here it is. So here it goes. And I think I said 1WB, but it's actually 1W8. So yeah, it's 1W8 and then it ends in SPU. So that is identical to this ID right here, which is, of course, our spreadsheet ID. Awesome, so that is spreadsheet ID. The next one I wanna showcase is get chart ID. So this is just getting the ID of the chart that is on, um, that is on the Google Sheet. So that might be helpful, say, if you want to cross-reference it, if you have a lot of sheets, say, or if you have a lot of charts in this, um, in this sheet right here, you can get the chart ID and then you can specify, um, say instead of getting charts, you could say get chart by ID and then this would be your ID right there. All right, I don't think we need to run that again, but let's look at this last method and it's called refresh. So let's say you uh, change some of this, say period two, this is an inflated number, they, there's no way this team scored 89 points when in the first quarter or in the first peri period they scored 24. So this is actually meant to say 49. So that will reduce uh, this number and it'll change this, it'll change this sheets chart. 
And then if you see here, now there's a prompt that says update, but you can update that in the code as well. So let's get our sheets chart. And then the method to do that is very simple. It's just refresh. So this is not gonna return anything. It's just going to perform an action basically. So I will comment that out. Oops, I didn't mean to delete it. Just meant to comment it. Alrighty, if we hit save and now we hit run and it needs our permission. I don't know why, let's take a look. All right, it looks like we just need to view our Google spreadsheets, but everything else looks pretty good. Alrighty, so if we say allow, oh, it's because we need to, yeah, we can now edit and create if we if we hit um, refresh. So let's uh, run it, everything looks good. And if we go back into our presentation, you can see that it has been refreshed. So we didn't have to click that update button, it did it for us. All right, guys, that is Sheets Chart. I hope you enjoyed this one and learned a lot. If you did and liked it, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you in the next one.